What's up guys? Welcome to Killer Cave Fox and Adventure. Killer Cave Fox and Adventure. <laughs> Part two. No, we're starting from Dragon Bay this time. No, for those who don't know, Dragon Bay is actually closed for business right now, but it's still an awesome scenery and we want to check it out. Let's go. Alright, so Dragon Bay has been officially closed for a number of years. Can't remember exactly how many. And I think it's been closed since 2004, I think. Um, to undergo renovation. So, it's closed, but it's still a beautiful site, so you can enjoy the greenery. mystical blue color however it changes depending on the angle of the sun so it might be deep blue at one point then turquoise to sapphire all right so many years ago it was known to have been one of the water bodies that has no bottom recently divers discovered that Blue Lagoon is 180 to 200 feet deep. Can believe that? Anyways, it is also a mixture of hot, cold, salt water, and fresh water. Oh, yes. Salt water from the Caribbean Sea, and the cold water is from the springs underneath. So, this is a combination of the sea coming in because it's a lagoon and then the water coming in from the hills so the water coming in from the hills is cold that's the spring, the stream or whatever you want to call it the Caribbean Sea is warm so let me show what you guys say 100% safe fit take on the lagoon both rides and raft and to rent canoes and kayaks if you if, if you really want to so just to come in and enjoy the scenery that's free free of course but to go on the boat and everything you have to pay all right so right now we're heading to the mineral bar also known as the spot yeah because she loves dipping ice but um for the mineral spot it's mainly the spring water because this, the, um, the sea don't necessarily go that far and then when you reach you'll see that it's just the spring water so whenever you wash up, whenever you swim in the sea water you want to wash off the salt you jump for the mineral bath so we are good and then if you notice when you look from look at the water from this side you can look and see that it has this sapphire look to it as we said earlier it has different colors from different angles based on how the sun is, is hitting the water so first on that side it had a, a turquoise color but right here is a sapphire color
All right. So right here we have the mineral. It's right here. It's mainly the spring water. The sea water doesn't necessarily uh, protrude to this point of the, the of the lagoon. So right here is just the stream coming down from the hills in the mountains. <laughs> Really cold because remember, I said earlier that the warmth is from the ocean, and because this is only spring water, it's, it's really cold. other places. It's never Portland. Well this is what you're missing. This is what you're missing. The lush greenery and it's almost like a mystic background that this lagoon, this lagoon provides. So mystic that persons from the past used to call it a place of mystic. Being that a dragon used to live here, that's fictional also. Also, this place it's now called the Blue Lagoon but it was once called Blue Hole and the name was changed because of a movie that was filmed here and the movie was actually titled The Blue Lagoon thus they just changed the name to The Blue Lagoon but locals refer to it as The Blue Hole Alright, so right now we're going to check out the scene here in the lagoon and we'll take a take a I trip to the Monkey Island, aka Pillow Island. Check out the Monkey Island and the other surrounding areas of the lagoon. So just blaze with us on this journey. In the meantime, check out the scenery. Island. 
with their picnic and laser around, enjoy themselves, have a good time. So we're going to visit the island um, shortly. We're going to take a tour around the, around the pier. So right here, we're approaching San San Bay. to prove that they were here and they keep on coming back to see their name and keep on adding their name over and over after coming back to the island. No, it's a really lovely sight and I don't think this picture or this camera or the phone can dictate how beautiful this is. Guys, you just have to come and see this for yourself. And as you can see, it may be the monkey and the monkey island. I'll just keep Just want you guys to 
to enjoy the scenery while we cruise back to the lagoon. So while we cruise, just enjoy the scenery. different angle of the Pelu Island aka Monkey Island now we were just over there where we took the boat but right now we're giving you an angle that you probably couldn't get from the boat so just enjoy the scenery and remember guys it's free to access the island if you can swim to the island you can do so or you can go there via boat, kayak, raft, anything. Oh, except cars. <laughs> Car can't drive for water. Alright guys, so right now we are at Sansan Beach. No. Sansan is one of the better beaches in Portland, especially for swimming. And now this beach has a reef, so the water tends to be a lot calmer than like the likes of Boston and uh, Black Bay. Now, I know it's kind of an overcast day today, um, but little persons know that Portland is one of the, the rainiest parishes in Jamaica. Now, this doesn't mean rain, rain falls every day, but we get rain every now and then. But, Let's check out the beach, y'all, man. Yes, so let's have a little time going to check out the um, sun, sun. Sun, sun. Let's go. All right, guys. So now, it might not look like much right now, but trust me, and I had fun in here when the beach is actually, actually clean. Beach is actually very marvelous. Now, personally, I don't think the beach is in its best of condition right now. But on a sunny day when the beach is clean and up and running, it's a marvelous sight. Yes. But 
seriously guys like it's not the best of the video but guess what the video has to go on it has to go on and probably in the future i'll take you guys back to sun sun beach when the sea when the beach is in its best form possible So now we had Frenchman's Cove. Unfortunately, it's closed at the moment. But Frenchman is what you would call paradise in paradise. Get it? No. Anyway, so Frenchman's Cove got his name from an explosive battle between the British and the French. So it was said that the French um, lost this battle and the French soldiers who were injured would usually go under this cove. Hence its name. French so as Kello said, it is a paradise within a paradise. And also to support this, no Frenchman Cove is also is a beach and a river um, in one. So if you go down to the cove and if, whatever, if you want to go to the ocean, feel free to. If you want to go to the river, feel free. However, it's closed at the moment, so we can't actually take you guys there to give you first hand footage even though we might be able to give you filed footage of Frenchman. Alright guys, so this is just a random little bay in the area of Drapers. Um, just showing you a little bit of scenery, even though the rain is coming down. Little showers of blessing. Right here is also an open spot. You can just come by and just laser room if you want. Alright guys, so remember we said earlier that Portland is not a real place. So right now in the background we have a castle. And it's also called the Trident Castle. So guys, Also, a hotel. Um, the price is really high. I don't, I don't know the price because I can't afford it. But it's a castle, also a hotel. Try and hotel. Um, in the night time, it's extremely beautiful because it has a lot of colors portraying on the building. So when you come to Poland, you can take a picture with the castle in the background and everything. So check it out. Over. Now, for are the active fanatics coming to Poland and want somewhere to work in? Uh, whether it be basketball, netball, shots, football, you name it. This is the place to be. Um, person just come out and just get active. You're traveling from far out, like a different country, different parish, and you want somewhere just to get active. Fally Oval is definitely the place to get active. It's in the town. Or it's about a minute um, on skirt of the town. So you can walk, drive, ride a bicycle if you're residing in the poor town your town. There's an amazing story behind this, why it was named for the room. So there was this American rich man who wanted to impress his wife. So he hurriedly mixed cement and salt water. Oh, mixed cement and salt water to build the structure of the house. And it crumbled when the wife came a couple of days after. And she shouted what a fun hence the name folly rooms and the entire area is actually called folly and then i think the lighthouse is close by i'm gonna try to visit the lighthouse try 
But you can just enjoy the scenery of the ruin. It's a couple, it's a lot of years old, I can't even remember. But it's yeah, it has a lot of history behind it. Persons travel long and wide to see this ruin. And it's also the backdrop for a lot of music videos. Especially with um with the six. My memory serves me right. I think I think I think I saw a chronicler uh, fire dopes and um oh, Bobby Six. <laughs> a lot of persons come here. I can't remember the others. Can't remember the others. But it's a, it's a really nice backdrop. Seems like they recently fenced the place. I don't know why. But it's a nice Alright guys, so we're now at the Folly Lighthouse, as you can see behind me. So it flashes light every 10 seconds and it is visible up to 13 miles away. Not briefly guys, the lighthouse is no longer in service. Um, to be honest, I don't know the last time when it was in service but when it was basically what Kay just said is what it was used for to, to help guide ships and then right there is a green buoy and then over on the other side there is a red buoy now these buoys are actually the the, the guiders for ships coming into the um, Port Antonio Harbor. Well, the West Harbor. The Port Antonio West Harbor. Now, the ships use this buoy as a guide to avoid rocks and reefs in the area. Basically. So, we can just enjoy the greenery of the Pali Point. We are now at the end of our video, Portland Part 2. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.